Ready, bro? Yep. One, two, two. Hunting the South Island of New Zealand presents a number of challenges. The two key ones being location and environment. But preparation is the key. Knowing when you're going to hunt, where you're going to hunt, and what you're going to hunt are key factors if you want to have a good experience. It starts with getting your gear squared away, making sure that everything is tested and adjusted. And then obviously, you got to get there, with the two methods being either flying or road and the ferry. It's February 2024, and Maddie and I are skipping across on the ferry to the South Island to meet up with a good friend of ours, Maddie Manuka, and we're heading off to chase red deer in the Canterbury High Country. Our day one plan is to travel south and meet Maddie at a dock car park in an area he has already reconned and taken a few deer out. Well, <laughs> a little bit of an update for the afternoon. Um, set up our fly just in time for it absolutely to a piss down. So, um, all waited out, pretty much four o'clock. Ah, tell you what though, oh, I think sand flies are unreal. Oh, good old Shamag. Pretty much a mosquito uh, net right now, so wait, wait out. So, um, rain settled down, we've had a dusting of snow up there. We jumped out of the tent, got the binos up. There's a father and um, son combo down there, a couple of uh, uh, a father with his two boys down there. Boys have been fishing up here. and sort of made a bit of a plan together that we're going to punch right to the back and um, he was just going to poke around so we just chucked the binos up and we saw this really nice stag way up in that on that um, below that um, sort of scree finger up there so we've sent the boys over there and we're going to watch them see how they see how they get on but I would say to the wind's pumping this way, so I sort of said to them, sort of tuck into the bottom of that bench, scoot across there, and get up and try and get an angle back into there. As the afternoon rolled on, we watched the father and his two sons head up to have a crack at that stag. We heard two shots. The stag didn't even flinch. Half an hour later, old mate was back to camp with a tall story. Oh well, never mind. So after a bite to eat, we were joined by Mr. Matty Manuka, then it was time to turn in for the night and make a plan for the next day. As I said, morning. Um, guys are going to get up early, we're going to get some glass on the hills out in front of us. And the kind of plan is to, if we see something here handy, we'll try and cruise over and have a shot. Um, as we found out last night, the old mate, we put him onto that deer with his boys and that's the first time we shot at a deer. Didn't realise that, so um, we, I think we, we all agree he's had his chance. So, um, and you saw the size of the stags over there. Uh, we're going to alpha dog the high ground and um, cruise over there and have a look. So, after breakfast, we got some glass on the hills, identified a target, but couldn't really make it out. So, we made an aggressive push to get up there, get some eyes on, and verify if it was a stag from yesterday. After closing the gap to 500 metres, Mr. Staggy unfortunately caught our wind and wasn't hanging around. So, back to camp for us. Well, there's only one way 
to lift the spirits after an unsuccessful hunt, and of course, that's fry bread, drowning in butter and jam. As for the rest of the day, it was kick back, relax, with the intention of walking up to our first campsite in late afternoon to avoid the midday heat. Soft cock, North Islanders <laughs> getting dealt to by the South Island. Matagodi. Our uh, deadly guide over here has uh, got us into the primo spot. So we've got um, faces up here to shoot. They range from four, five hundred, six hundred up to there, seven. And then we've got this face over here, which is all um, three hundred. So we'll set up the shooting tripods to hit both arcs really, sort of right arc, left arc. A key learning for my last South Island mission was the amount of steep angle shooting we had to do. The type of shooting that's really difficult to pull off from the prone position. But this time we came prepared with our Sunway Photo Carbon Fibre Shooting Tripods. It seems of recent times I've been plagued with real average camera skills, particularly with the big camera filming deer. And on this occasion, it happened to me again. A handy deer at 240 meters, lined him up, sent it, hit him, and well. And to make things worse, our recovery sucked as well. Crikey man, we just spent a hour and a half up in, in Spaniard grass and thick fern and maragari and uh, we can't find it, oh, Jesus. And you know, it could have been within feet of us other than us milling it. Um, but we'll give it another crack in the morning. Can't see it in the daylight, as you said, you're not gonna see it during, with the headlamp, so we'll put her on back and get into some night routine. the boys uh, make plans for the raw. Um, bit of a sign up for the day. Um, went up and had a crack at their big stag early this morning. Obviously no luck. And then um, this one here we couldn't find it. Uh, we'll give it a nudge in the morning, see how we get on. But um, we've still got a, those big faces up there to um, glass as well. So. See ya in the morning. As daylight broke, we were up, ready, and soon spotting some targets. Unfortunately, only the female variety, and we were pretty keen on spotting those big boys with those big velvet racks. The rest of the morning was quite uneventful on the hunting front. However, we did see another hunter up on the ridge in the area we were intending to go to later on in the day. That, plus the savage sunshine, saw us scuttling back to the tent for breakfast and later on a power nap. Afternoon time, it's time for us to try and get to the, well up to the top somewhere up for a um, uh, spot tonight. but. The other hunter sort of went up that way, so we're going to have to obviously, don't know whether he day hunted or um, he's up there for an overnight. Obviously, it's uh, a holiday tomorrow, so. But anyway, the plan is to get up this hill. It's hot as fuck. Get some water on the way and find a posse for tonight uh, for both camp up, harbour up, and um, try and find us a deer. Uh, 
Brody. Show you where I work on our bed space. So there's a bit of a ledge, but um, got the tarp one here, four in here. We had to a bit of a drop off down in there, so we've got all the dead wood laid it on there with some rocks, leveled all that. Uh, we're gonna set up over there and shoot both sides. Well, not shoot both sides, but look into there and then look up to there as well. Debrief for the day is um, didn't find that deer this morning when we shot from last night. Um, I think we just it was a jungle in there and kind of gave up to be fair. But um, we did a mad sort of hardcore mish up to the tops. We paid dearly. I tell you, we paid dearly in sweat and probably a little bit of heat stroke and got up here and uh, two hinds. In the basin behind of us and two hinds on the side here uh, both shootable but we we're waiting for those fellas with the big velvet headwear so um oh, have some dinner get some shut eye and make a plan for tomorrow as day four kicked around there was definitely an air of desperation and frustration we were keen to get some meat for camp, so Heinz moved up onto the target list. Stand by. Hey. Ready, bro? Yep. One. Is she still there? Is she She's still dead? There's another one. You just got a laugh. Oh mate, yep, he was videoing the wrong deer. Man, we're just having all the luck. interesting talking where our wind holes were Maddie's was right on the shoulder and it drifted back here hit her a bit further back here I aimed right up here and the bullet drifted what's that actually 30 probably 30 35 centimeter drift in a what I guesstimated probably about a 12 mile an hour wind so, but I mean if someone had the camera on properly you would have seen her fold like a sack of spuds what yeah no i can't talk either because i'm pretty shit at it as well that was supposed to be shooting at the deals <laughs> anyway um we have some fresh vinny for um well br breakfast big probably two hours to get back i would say and i'm being generous yeah
After a hearty meal of venison backsteaks, we made a decision to switch from antler mode to meat hunter mode, which meant anything handy on the afternoon shot was going to get the bullet. This sign, sitting at 265 metres, but on a minus 33 downhill angle, was going to be a great opportunity for Maddie to get his first kill on a Sunway photo shooting tripod. Stand by. You know, you just can't take the Ruahini sleigh mode out of the North Island boys when they come to the South Island. But uh, whoop across, grab this one, and then it's us for the night. A 265 meter recovery is a walk in the park for the North Island meat hunters. A quick up and down, back to camp for dinner. That's us, we decide to uh, retire for the evening. Pop back over the other side and um, spite up that same old hind, so no point um, no point sitting up there looking at her all evening, so early night. We're gonna bust out real early in the morning, probably try and get away about four, half past four. Boost back down the hill and set up not far from our other camp because we spotted a stag right across to the side, try and have a shot at that, and then probably uh, look to make our way out. Time to punch down to another blind. It'll be a couple hours, and it's even worse, man, because it's set on dry grass and then bloody breaks on the whole way so and then there's that Spaniard grass hiding in the darkness and the Matagari well see you down there Well, no footage, got down into a position, had a deer at 680, we did have a shot, wind hold was way too aggressive, and that deer happily scraped across the face, unassaulted, so, uh, it's time to hikoi, back to the car. So there it is, um, another hearty adventure in the South Island, a different spot, different lay of the land, and yeah, that one, I've got to say, that one hurt a little bit. Anyway, a little bit of feedback from my brother from another mother, Mr. Iorangi. Your thoughts on the mission, my bro? Oh, hearty mission. Um, I should have bought my spare nono, <laughs> my spare pole, because uh, I left, left my other one up on the hill. Um, but yeah, that was a awesome experience to get up on the hill with the boys again and to catch up with the the bro Matty um yeah it was good good to catch up and just awesome experience man mm. shooting shooting deer up up in the well, up in the hills so. yeah mm. steep hills mm. yeah um bro oh just yeah um just awesome to reconnect up again after yeah, our no, last Roger, mission bro. Roger, Roger, yeah Roger. and just um coming to a new sort of area um, mm. Yeah, just just picking up, still picking up, learning things from from the last trip, and picking up even, even more stuff, just to enhance my my hunting mm. out on the hills. But yep. for me, it's just the, the catching up others and yeah, mm. hard, hard, yeah hard, hard. good to have a, another mm. mission out there on the hills. How oh, did that? Um, so um, we sort of originally come down to shoot stags, like big stags, and the only stags we saw were right behind the camera 
out from the car park. Massive stags, as you saw at the front of the video. So, um, but anyway, um, we got some meat for Maddie to take home. Um, we got a couple of good kills on camera. Well, we got uh, video footage of one deer tumbling past another deer. Um, but yeah, no, overall, I fucking just, yeah, just absolutely enjoyed every single minute of it, brother. Thank you for the invite. Uh, all good, bro. <clears throat> yep. Don't forget, uh, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you boys on the next adventure.